Okay, now that you've got your first behavior pack ready to customize, let's get started. So we'll start with something easy. Let's go ahead and pick the chicken. And let's make the chicken rideable. So we're going to make it so that we can hop on a chicken and go for a ride. And the cool thing about that is chickens fly. So if we jump off a cliff or a tree while we're riding a chicken, then uh, it'll just kind of float us down to the ground safely. So that'll be a cool behavior. So check this out. Remember, in our behavior pack, in our behavior files, we have three separate sections. The component group section, the component section, and the event section. So let's go ahead up to the top here and look at the component groups. You can see there's a component group for baby and also one for adult. So let's go ahead and look at the adult component group. And we can see here that this is where it adds rideability. So it's rideable by a zombie. So adult chickens are rideable by zombies. So what we'll do is we'll change that. Just double click on zombie to highlight it. And then you could start typing player. So what I've done is I've changed the, um, the, the chicken to be rideable by a player instead of a zombie. So we can have one player on a chicken at a time. And this is kind of the coordinates of where you're seated when you're on the chicken. So if it doesn't look right, you could change it here. But I think it's going to be fine. The other thing I'd like to do is make the chicken steerable. So that's something we're going to have to borrow from the pig behavior. So let's go ahead and open the pig behavior and take a look here at the rideable attribute of the pig. It has a similar thing as the chicken, but it has these extra two behavior components that are going to make it controllable. So let's go ahead and practice copying from the pig and bringing it over to the chicken. Let's take a quick look at the JSON. If I click on this curly brace, you see it belongs to this one here, which is what contains the behavior controlled by player. If I click on this one here, it goes to Minecraft item controllable by carrot on a stick. So you could see these are the two objects that I want. So to make it easy, I can click on the line number and that selects the entire line. And if I still hold the mouse button, I could drag down to get to the right point. Now, if I go to this part, is that is that correct? It's not correct because that closing curly brace belongs to something else. Remember, this was the curly brace that belongs to the controlled by player. So you can see from a matching curly braces, we have an open and close, and we have an open and close. So I'm going to go ahead and copy that code, and then we'll go back to the chicken. And where do we want to put that? So you see the writable component here. If I click on this curly brace, you could see that it closes right here. So what do we need to do when we're separating things? We need to use commas. So in here, since it was the last one, it had no comma. But since we're adding more, we need to put the comma in there. So I'll hit Enter. And then I'll go to Edit and Paste. You can see here I'll fix the indenting a little bit. And now we've got controllable by carrot on a stick. Why don't we change that to be controllable by a bow? So if we're holding a bow, we could steer the chicken around. That could be fun. And that has a comma after it. And then the last one has no comma. And we can get rid of this blank line here. So your code should look just like this. I'll provide some sample code in the comments below as well. So you can grab that if you need to grab it from there. So let's go ahead and check this in the JSON linter. I'm going to select all and then copy the code. Then we'll switch over to our linter. I'll paste the code in there and then click the check button for JS lint. And it looks like we have an error here. It says unexpected trailing space. And you can see the line number here, 161. So let's go back to our code and look at line 161. What's on line 161? Well, there's no extra space there, but look at the next line. That has some extra spaces in it if I click on it. There's no need for those extra spaces, so let's just go ahead and delete those. And then we'll select the code again. Copy. Go back to the linter. Clear. Paste. Test it out. Looks good. So I don't know if those spaces would have caused a problem, but again, programming and formatting is specific. Those spaces weren't necessary, so uh, it was a good idea to get rid of those. So that was all the change we need to make there. So it looks like we're ready to go with the chicken code. So I'm going to go ahead and save that. 
and now we have a customizable chicken behavior. So you could proceed on to the next step at any point if you want to move on and keep it simple and just test out your behavior pack. You could proceed to the next section where we test out packaging up and testing the behavior pack.